Hi there, Stacy here from Stitches by Stacy. Today we're going to take a look at ribbing. Ribbing is made up of U-wrap stitches and purl stitches. In our first example, I have a three by one ribbing. So it's three knit or U-wrap stitches and one purl. Three knit, one purl. You can see it more clearly on the wrong side of the fabric. It's interesting to notice that this pattern is quite smooth, often used in hemlines or necklines, because it provides the flexibility when you need it, but doesn't change the look of the garment. Here we have a 3x3 three three ribbing, and it's purl stitch, knit, purl. And I've reversed it, and you can see how it's produced a checkerboard pattern. Here is 2x2 two two ribbing, and here, my favorite type of ribbing, one by one. This is the tightest ribbing in its relaxed form, but provides a huge amount of flexibility. It's also used for sock cuffs or wrist cuffs because of its flexibility. Keeps things in place. And I've purled the final peg on this particular section just to illustrate a more textured edge if you're interested in something like that. Normally I U-wrap, but this one I purled. So there's just a few examples of ribbing and what it's used for. I'm Stacy from Stitches by Stacy. Thanks for watching.